Evening everybody. Tonight we're going to talk about uh, finding component parts to a vector. So in order to do that, let's get started with making a vector. We'll get a vector arrow. There we go. And we'll actually, you know, okay, we'll get a vector arrow and we'll draw it on the screen just like that. Okay, so there's one vector arrow. And what I think I might do is is copy it. Hang on, I'm just gonna make it again. There we go. Just so that there's a second one, just so that we can work with it and I can show you some different features. Okay, so these are these are two identical vector arrows. So if you want to break them into the components, the first thing you do is you start with the tail of the vector, the part that doesn't have the arrowhead. Okay? And what you'll do is you draw you draw either a vertical line or a horizontal line. It doesn't matter which one, just whatever is easiest. So I'm I'm gonna do both just so that you can see it. Okay. For this one, I'll start with a horizontal line that goes out like this, starts at the tail, and it extends across horizontally as far as the vector goes. Okay, that's my left-right vector. And then I draw the other one. So I started out going horizontal, and I finished with vertical. And what I've done now is I've drawn my two components for this black vector, one to the right and one up. Sometimes it's not always easy to draw it that way, so you can start with the vector going up. Again, you start at the tail, it's the same vector, and you go up like that, and then across like that. Okay? Either one works. Okay? You've drawn the two components for for that vector. Alright. Once you've done that, again go back to the tail of your original vector and what you want to do is you want to draw in an angle that starts at the hypotenuse, that's the vector itself, and it goes down to the adjacent component, just like that. Or, like this. Okay? And what that is, is that's your angle. Okay? That's your angle, and we'll call that angle um, X for this one. And here we'll call it angle Y, because they're they're different angles. They're not necessarily the same angle. Okay. Again, it, you, you'll do one or you do the other. In fact, you know what? Let's let's save the confusion. We're 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 going to work with one triangle at a time. So let's work with this triangle on the left. So I've got my vector, I've got my components, and I've identified my angle. So now what I have to do is identify the size of that angle. This is a right angle right here. And so because it's a right angle, I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to draw the little box to show that that's a right angle because those two lines are parallel to each other. And the side that doesn't touch the right angle, that's known as the hypotenuse. That's this one right here. So I'm going to take this. Just got some terms here. I'm going to bring it back over. And this side right here, there's the hypotenuse. All right. Okay, the side that's touching your angle is, is known. I'm just going to move this just so it's out of the way. I'm going to group it and I'm going to slide it over here for a minute. The side that touches your angle right here is adjacent to the angle. It's beside it or adjacent. So I'm going to take this term, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to put it here. All right, there we go. All right, so that again, the side that is, is not the hypotenuse but still touches the angle that you're looking at, that's the adjacent angle. And then the last one, the side that doesn't touch your angle, the one that's over here, that's opposite the angle. All right, so now we've identified our three sides as opposite over here, the one that doesn't touch the angle, adjacent, the one that does, and hypotenuse is the big one. It's probably your initial vector. Okay, so now our old buddies in the math department taught us about SOHCAHTOA. And SOHCAHTOA is a handy little way to remember how we use trigonometry to get our angles. SOHCAHTOA stands for sine, um, hang on, let me get rid of this thing. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine 
is adjacent over hypotenuse and tangent is opposite over adjacent. So I'm going to take those and I'm going to stick them in. Okay, here's the so and so katoa. There we go. Sine, or the S, is opposite over hypotenuse. And cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So C, A, and H. And then tangent, that's the opposite over the adjacent. Okay, and those are three very simple formulas. So if you're looking for these components, you want to find these two components, you can use trigonometry to do it. First thing you need to do is make sure your calculator is in degrees. And, and one thing, I, I never penalize students at the beginning of a test if they announce to the class, make sure your calculator is in degrees, because that saves people a lot of, a lot of uh, careless errors. So make sure your calculator is in degrees, and then if your calculator is in fact in degrees, if you know the angle x and one of the sides, you can get the other two sides. Okay, let's say you knew what this was. Let's say you knew the hypotenuse. Okay, if you know the hypotenuse and you know how big this angle is, then you can find the opposite using sine, right? Because we know what sine, we know what x is, so we can type in our calculator sine x, which is measured, and we know what the hypotenuse is, and we can use those two things and get the opposite. Similarly, if I'm looking for the adjacent, and I know what the hypotenuse is, or the vector is, and I know what the angle is, I can use trigonometry again. Cosine x, which I just type in my calculator, equals the adjacent, which I don't know, divided by the hypotenuse, which I do know. Okay, and I can use these two known values to solve for adjacent. Okay, we'll do some examples in class so you get lots of practice, but I did want to give you this quick little visual of, of the identifying the sides and drawing in the components and the formulas to get those components. Um, hope it helps, and have yourselves a good evening.